Eye on the Past is brought to you in part by Okies. How did one of the largest universities in Virginia get its start? In 1851, Methodists established the Olin and Preston Institute on five acres in Blacksburg. Closed during the Civil War, it reopened in 1869, about the same time the Virginia legislature was seeking to start a land-grant college. The Methodist Academy was selected. After surrendering its charter and property to the state, the school became the Virginia Agricultural and Mechanical College. Known as Virginia A&M, the first students arrived in 1872 and the school was supplied with books, equipment, and livestock, mostly donated by local businessmen and farmers. The initial years were plagued by uncertainty with four different presidents and a complete turnover of the faculty. Finally, in 1891, John McBride became the college's fifth president and brought needed vision and stability. Serving for 16 years, he restructured the curriculum, expanded the campus, and introduced a third major course of study, technology, giving the school a new name, the Virginia Agricultural and Mechanical College and Polytechnic Institute. With the new name, the students developed a new yell heard at athletic events, hokey, hokey, hokey high, tech, tech, VPI. Eye on the Past is brought to you in part by Okies. He's always by your side. They are incredibly patient, and there's nothing like his unconditional love. Okies Pet Funeral Home and Crematory. We make sure your best friends receive the care and respect they deserve.